All right, welcome back, guys. Sorry it's been such a long time since I've put a video on. Uh, I've been working on a lot of different projects, but this one's a 99 Ford Ranger with a 3 liter in it. And I tested a coil pack from a 96 Ford Explorer with a 4 liter. So, oh, sorry, I got a notification on here. I'm using my Samsung S5. Sorry, I don't want to get in the light. But what I do want to say is the plugs are exactly the same. There is a thing online, and I'm not sure what it is, but if you look it up, it'll show different style of uh, coil packs compared to the different... This is the oval plug, the other one's a square style, the newer one. But the wire coating is exactly the same. But if you're using close to the same year but different engine coil pack, the plug is still the same, except for on this Ranger... This wire right here, this very first one, is red. And the Ranger one comes up and sticks up, which is this one right here. So, let me grab it. So, what I'm saying, let's see if we can get it to focus right there. That's the round plug. Or, well, not round, but oval. And it's four pins. I don't know if you guys can see the pins in there. So... As this sits in here, and the firing order is kind of goofy on these too. So, any V6 of Ford, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On the coil pack, uh, let's try to get you out of the light a little bit. There we go. There we go. It goes 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, not 5 and 6, but 6 and 5. So, you have to wire the 4 liter one exactly the same but I have this tester plug the original plug for the four liter one right here going into here because red is on the left on the Ranger one when you plug it in the snout's sticking up but this plug has to twist so red is actually facing you but it doesn't matter if this side is the hot side or the other side's the hot side what I am going to get to is the is the three wires that fire these coils because it's uh it, this coil will fire this coil will fire then this coil will fire so really two plugs are getting spark at the same exact time so there's only three coil packs don't mistake that for six and the bottom will kind of show you on that right there you see the round bulges each one of those is a coil supplying each set of plug wires so really it's only three coils so Anyways, so since the positive is over here on the far left and the ranger it's on the far right, doesn't matter. As long as this set fires first, that set, and then that set. So the reason why I have the number one closest to me going to the closest to the red wire is because the front bank is the one that's got to fire first. So on the ranger one, like I said, this spins 90 or 180 degrees. This one is the red, so the next wire would have to be the first bank. You'll see by looking at this, and I'll I'll shoot a I'll shoot a plug of why the Ranger one. I can undo this now. Might as well just do that right here. I'll show you exactly what I mean. If oh shoot, I don't think it's going to be long enough. Here I'll go sideways. There we go. So the Ranger one, the plug has to spin. Oh shit. Of course he would fall down right now. I'm trying to do this one-handed. So see, the plug does not go in it. There's the tab right there, and there's the tab for this side. So you have to spin it. 180. And then it plugs in. And then as it sits, we're almost square. Red wire's closest to me, or towards the front of the vehicle now. And then this white wire, or what color is that? It's tan with white. Let me get that to focus. Come on, there you go. We got tan with white, tan with green, tan with orange. But the red one, red with green, has to be closest to you. Now when I had it wired the other way, the red wire was here. But this one still has to be the first firing coil pack. And then the second, and then the third. 
when this is backwards, it tries to go backwards. It tries to go three, two, one. So all you gotta do is really just switch these two wires and then it'll go one, two, three. And that's how you can test. Hold on, move that out of the way and zoom back out. There we go. So if you need to test and make sure the three liter coil right here for this engine is still good and you wanna use something from a four liter, there you go. That's how you do it. Any questions? Put it down in the comments. Thank you for watching. It's just kind of a short and sweet video right here. Just trying to figure out a number four misfire and did a compression test and it came up to 120. So I think I'm going to try a leak down. Uh, did a vacuum, or not a vacuum test, but a smoke test on it. And the IAC valve vent here was leaking and so was the EGR leaking right out of the diaphragm. So that's got to be replaced. But it still wouldn't quite explain why number four specifically is the one misfiring. So uh, I'm going to try to eliminate valve train. And once I do that, I'm going to really lean towards the number four injector. So um, it just depends on how far he wants to go with it. But so far I can give him some news. But it does run better. Um, all right. Well, any questions? Thanks for watching. And... Hopefully some more videos to come soon. Alright, see ya.